So most of my books I have made in the back of this gym. And it's my office. It doesn't look like much of an office, but electromagnetic lock, key code entry, pocket door, hardwood bamboo floors, art table for old school drawings. This is actually an old art desk where the legs broke and I redid. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> okay, you gotta come in and look at this. What? You're giving me a weird look. It's, it's the size of a prison cell. And I actually, I mean, really, I, I feel comfortable. I feel much more comfortable this, in this. Um, and I don't really know why. But I don't, I don't want a big office. I did a prison definitely changed that. I like small, I feel more comfortable in small spaces. I mean, most all of my art was done in a little steel table with like a, a steel hinge. When I started to fall in love with books and when I realized it was a passion of mine, it really was when I became a man in the sense where before it was like all about me, what I need, what I want, me, 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 me. And then it became, you know, I'm making these books for one purpose and it's, you know, for my kids. No matter what, I couldn't change my past, but it was that when my daughters grew up and they looked back, they'd look at these pictures and be like, well, you know what? Whoever put in that much time into these drawings, and it didn't matter if they were good or bad, it's the time that all my drawings represent, which is really propelled by one thing, and that was love. And um, it was love for my two girls, which really I, I gambled with that time, and I don't know. But 